Hello everyone, I'm going to Singapore River today. I have an assignment to draw the old bridges of Singapore River. This is to celebrate the... Oh, they have the stage set up for National Day. This is basically to celebrate the Bicentennial. So the first bridge that I'm going to sketch will be Kavanaugh Bridge. Just in case you don't know, I actually work at the newspaper, so many of my colleagues are doing the same assignment. I have been assigned the assignment to document the bridges, which is going to be fun, but it's very tedious because there are many bridges in Singapore. But I don't have to draw all the bridges, I just have to draw the ones that are much older, the ones that have been around since the founding days, which is basically which are basically the ones that are more than 50 to 100 years old. So this is Singapore River. So if you walk around Singapore River, you will see many of these information boards that were set up. And all this will explain the history of Singapore River. So that's the bridge that I'm going to draw today. And you see on the right side, we have some statues of the early workers. These are Chinese and Indian coolies. Now Singapore River is a favorite spot for tourists to visit. When it comes to drawing these bridges, there's actually a right and wrong time to draw. So depending on where the sun is, the bridge may be lit on this side or on the other side. So today I came out in the morning because I wanted to draw this side, the right side. This is Kavanaugh Bridge, the bridge that links the financial district of Singapore to the civil district on the right side. This is where all those old buildings are, but they have since been refurbished. So that's the Asian Civilization Museum. I have drawn this museum many times. So this museum looks right at the bridge. So I have to decide whether to draw here, looking at the financial district, or go over to the other side and draw looking towards the museum. Let's go over to the other side to take a look. So we have this famous sign here. The use of this bridge is prohibited to any vehicle. So this used to be a vehicle bridge, but it is now a pedestrian bridge. Another skater. And that's Fullerton Hotel. A very prestigious hotel in Singapore. It used to be a post office, by the way. A very huge post office, as you can imagine. Alright, so this is not the scene that I want to draw because this is actually in shadow so I have to draw from, from the other side. There are actually many little details to draw around the bridge such as this railing here. So this bridge was built in 1869 but I read online that it was opened in 1870 and there are little sculptures around the bridge as well such as those workers earlier and we have three cats here on the other side we have little butt naked children who would jump into the river which was actually very dirty back in the days but it has been cleaned up since so now it's very clean that's the other bridge that i'm going to draw maybe tomorrow back on the other side so this is the scene that i'm going to draw it looks like the ice cream uncle is back again which is great because i need to add people in the scene to make it live these are the tools that i'll be using today that's the portable painter watercolor palette my sailor fountain pen mechanical pencil and this is the strathmore visual journal with 300 gsm watercolor paper
This is the completed pen and ink sketch. So I started with pencil first to get the general proportion because this is a bridge. It's quite complicated. I want to get the proportions right. So I started with the pencil and then went in with the ink. One nice thing about drawing on paper is the page is fixed in size. So you have to fit everything in. And if you make mistakes, that's it. Just leave the mistake in. There's no need to undo. So you don't have to stress out too much. Or maybe because there's no undo, you would stress out. But for me, I like that there is no undo. So once you leave the line there, it will be there. I actually did the same sketch on the iPad Pro using a reference photo, but I didn't like the digital look. That's why I'm out here again today to draw this on location with pen, ink and watercolor. The ink that I'm using is the sketch ink and it dries really fast. And as you can see, when I erase the ink, it's very permanent, which is great. Unlike digital, you cannot zoom in on paper, so there is a limitation to the amount of details you can add to your sketch, which works in my favor today because I don't want to have so much details. So this is the completed sketch. Notice I have left a lot of white space around the sketch. That's because I will be using this piece of art on newspaper and I have to put in some text by the side. So I have plenty of white space for me to put those texts. One thing I like about urban sketching or location sketching is the immediacy of the work. So this was a very quick sketch and you can sort of feel the energy in it. I managed to finish the sketch earlier than I expected. That's great because now I have time to go scout for tomorrow's location. And I'll probably draw that tomorrow. This is pretty cool. We have some kids drawing outdoors as well. Alright, so that's all for today's video. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be making this urban sketching, location sketching videos for the next two weeks. See you guys again. Bye!